Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 21st of January. I'm James Spann. Cold air blowing in here today with harsh winds. A secondary surge of cold air Thursday. Temperatures stay below average for quite a while. Let's take a look at the big picture, and that is a familiar pattern. Trough in the east, ridge in the west. Trough delivers the cold air. Eastern part of the United States, cold. The western part of the United States, relatively mild. Now, the cold air a little late in arriving this morning. Those are temperatures uh, right before daybreak and kind of all over the board. We've got 32 at Fort Payne, but we've got 40s elsewhere. What's going to happen today with uh, intense cold air advection? These numbers will fall probably through mid-morning. I think we'll fall into the mid-30s. Then we'll climb back up to around 40 this afternoon, and those winds will make it feel colder. Very tight pressure gradient today. You can clearly see what's happening to the north is this... Uh, Arctic air returns, and again, it comes in in two phases. Phase one is today. Phase two is Thursday, and uh, the Thursday air will be colder than this. Now, in terms of winter weather problems, we've got wind chill advisories for much of the upper Midwest and the Northeast, and then a winter storm warning in effect for much of Virginia, West Virginia, all of Maryland, Delaware, southern Pennsylvania, much of, much of New Jersey up into uh, the in, uh, coastal parts of New England. Uh, where they will see average amounts of 4 to 8 inches. Some spots could see more. And there could even be some blizzard conditions developing, maybe for parts of New Jersey and uh, Long Island and Connecticut up there. And down here, all of Alabama is in a wind advisory for today. And again, those winds are going to be very fierce later. If you're looking for snow, that's where you'll find it. This is the chance of greater than 1 inch uh, between now and tomorrow morning, the big numbers through that winter storm warning area up in the northeast. And also the uh, next clipper will likely bring some light snow maybe to parts of the uh, high plains, but uh, the cold is the big deal up there. But down here, it's dry. This is the precipitation for the next five days, about like through Sunday morning, showing nothing. And there might be a flurry or two uh, later today over northeast Alabama, but uh, won't amount to anything. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid Today at uh, 12 noon at 500 millibars, there's your trough down below that. Look at the gradient. I mean, that's a tight gradient. It's going to be so windy today. Uh, 999 millibar low around the tidewater of southeast Virginia and a 1,032 millibar high off to the west over Oklahoma. And uh, north winds of 15 to 30. Uh, again, that is very strong cold air advection. Uh, I think temperatures will probably drop into the 30s this morning. And again, we might recover to near 40 this afternoon. And of course, you can see the snow set up there from uh, West Virginia on up to uh, New Jersey as that thing moves northeast. All right, tomorrow will not be as windy. You can see the pressure gradient's gone. Uh, tomorrow morning will be cold. Upper teens are likely. Both models are printing 18. Then the high tomorrow around 40. Same deal. Sky will be sunny. And again, the good news, not as windy. It won't be as blustery, but... Thursday, here comes another surge of cold air. The winds pick up again, and that is a 1,048 millibar high over Nebraska and Kansas. Add some cold air. I don't know if we get above freezing on Thursday. That's going to be a very cold day, and with the wind, the wind chill index will stay below freezing all day easily. In fact, let's just look at the temperature plot here. This is off the GFS. You can see that uh, red line is 32, and uh, we're going to have a hard time getting above the freezing mark not only on Thursday, but also on Friday. And areas north of Birmingham probably won't get above freezing on those two days. Uh, this is Friday. Uh, the surface high is on top of us, and I think that's going to be our coldest morning. Uh, we'll say lows between 10 and 15 at daybreak Friday and the high around the freezing mark, but at least it won't be so windy. 
All right, weekend fans, what do you say? This is Saturday. The good news, after a cold morning, we start to warm up as the thickness values come up on Saturday. Uh, I'd say Saturday morning we'll be in the teens somewhere, but the high should be close to 50. Big warm-up during the day. That'll be like a heat wave. And this is Sunday, same thing. The high would be around 50. Another little clipper passing north of us, but uh, this air will not be as noticeable. Maybe up in the Tennessee Valley, they'll see high slipping back in the 40s, but the sky should be sunny. Uh, both days. So highs around 50 for the weekend. That's somewhat reasonable. And this is Tuesday, a week from today. The trough sharpens up again, and there's another shot of colder air coming in, and that will drop highs back in the 40s by uh, uh, Tuesday of next week. That's, say, a week from today. And I skipped Monday, didn't I? Eh, too early for this. But, but there's a look at We'll back up one day to Monday. We do note that little compact uh, disturbance down in the Gulf. That'll stay well to the south, obviously. But we're dry for a while. Let's go out there deeper into the model run. This is February the 2nd. Ooh, that looks awfully wet. You know, we haven't had a big rain here in, in a while. And on the 5th of February, that's another trough and another big wet down. And that's very close to uh, snow and ice issues for uh, the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. That would suggest some snow over Tennessee and Kentucky maybe with that. Of course, this is pure speculation. We all know that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.